so guys welcome back to the youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today if this is your first time here guys do not forget please click that subscribe button and subscribe all right thank you so much for understanding um today's video i'm going to be talking about asylum in finland and some of the things we all need to know all right as an adult if you are moving to finland you should understand that um there is a possibility you can get um let me say covered by the finnish authorities all right but first, what is asylum? Asylum is when you are running away from political issues or religious issues from your own home country to a country in Europe. Last time, I remember I did a video um, talking about asylum. And I said in that video that you cannot leave Europe and go to another European country which is not under crisis and you are granted asylum. For example, you cannot leave Sweden where Sweden is very good and you enter luxembourg and you expect to seek asylum in luxembourg they will not grant you the asylum because sweden is peaceful but if you leave ukraine right now and you go to luxembourg of course you can get asylum from there because everybody knows ukraine is in crisis all right now i will be talking about asylum in finland and i also want you to understand that if you see me looking over here know that over here i am looking at my laptop all right so you should understand that for you to seek asylum in Finland, you must first of all enter into Finland. You cannot seek asylum outside of Finland. For example, you cannot use emails to seek asylum. You cannot use uh, messages to seek asylum. You cannot send messages to the immigration officials in Finland from your home country to seek asylum. So you must apply for asylum only when in the Finnish territory. All right. And again, remember that for you to apply for asylum, there are rules you need to take. There are things you need to do. There is no application form, all right? Now, so I will take you step by step, all right, on how you can go about your asylum in Finland in case you, Finland is where you want to seek asylum because there is not everybody has the same um, dream, all right? Some people will decide to go through asylum while others will decide to take whatsoever means they want. So now, as an adult, because I will talk on two parts, as a child, on accomplished or accompanished, that is to say, a child who has no parent, who has no mother, who has no body to accompany her, all right? And I will be talking on adults. First, I will start with the adult section. For you to seek asylum in Finland, you have to enter the, the Finnish area. What is to say? That is to say, you have to go into Finland, then you apply for your asylum. Now, how do you apply for the asylum? You have to, first of all, when you go to Finland, you meet a police officer. You tell the officer or the immigration officer, but the best person is the police officer. You need to tell these authorities that, or people who are in charge of uh, the borders, you need to tell them that you want to seek asylum. In this case, that is the step one. Then step two now, the border officials will take you and register you as an asylum seeker, all right? And again, they will record you, your details, and take your fingerprint signatures and photography that is why i have always said that before you seek asylum in a foreign country look at the country very well because i got some disturbing information from uh, uh, someone in north in south cyprus sorry she was asking me um some things and i told her if you give them your fingerprint it no means that you will only live in south cyprus work in south cyprus for the rest of your life is the very thing if you seek asylum in one country in europe know that you can only work in that particular country. Even if you leave that country to another country, all right, you may not stay more than three months. You get the point. And you cannot work in the country in which you visited. You can only work in the country that papers were given to you. That is what I know. Procedures may change depending on the country in which you are. And I think Finland is not an exception. The step three, after filling the forms, after signing, and of course, after your fingerprint has been taken, you can now be directed to the asylum camp. In this case, I call it the reception center, all right, where you are going to meet other asylum seekers. In this camp, you are going to stay there, all right? I do not know if they are going to keep your passport in Finland, but the situation in South Cyprus is that when you give, or when you give your fingerprint, they can still leave your passport with you. It just depends on what the immigration officials are doing. All right. So the immigration officials in Finland will decide after you have been directed to the asylum camp, they will decide if your, 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 your service is going to continue or it is going to stop. All right. Now, the information here says that in some other European member state is responsible for processing the application. The application would not be processed in Finland. 
the applicant would be refused entry and sent back to the member state responsible for examining the application. This now is trying to explain what I have been saying. If you come from Sweden, for example, you want to seek asylum in Luxembourg, all right? Maybe your files were already in Sweden. You will not be granted. Remember, when you take or when you enter one EU country, all the data is on their system. In case you are going to another EU country, they will be able to see your data within their system. That is something a lot of people don't know. But know that if you give your fingerprint or if your passport details are taken in one European country and you are going to another country, they will be able, especially in the European Union, they will be able to see your details, all right? So if you come to Finland with the intention that you want to seek asylum, whereas your files were in Poland or maybe Luxembourg, you will not be granted the asylum. They will send you back to the country where you were coming from, all right? So that is the stage four. They will decide if they are giving you um the the continuous uh movement or not now the finnish immigration service invites the applicant to the asylum interview this is when you are now going to answer some questions like i always say if you want to seek asylum in finland or any country in the eu make sure you have documents if you are running away from political problems make sure you have documents to prove that you are running away from politics, all right? For those uh, coming from Cameroon, the English uh, regions in Cameroon who, that were highly affected, I understand. You can show papers, all right? Papers to show that you are running away from um, a political stuff, all right? And this way you can be, be given access. Again, understand that in case you are called for the interview, you do not have any genuine reasons. You can't be able to back up yourself. You would not. That is where your case is going to end. All right. I am saying this because I know there are a lot of people who want to use various means to enter into Finland. In case you are going as a student, you apply for a student visa and you go and you decided to seek asylum. I would not say it is the best, but like I said, everybody has what he or she is looking for. So if you decide to seek asylum, it just depends on you, all right? You are the one to decide on what you are going to do with your life. Nobody can decide for you. So that is the information um, you need to know, all right? Now, the immigration, um, Finnish immigration service will make a possible or a positive feedback or a negative decision. After the interview step, uh, stage, remember the stage is stage five, all right? When they call you for an interview, they will ask you some questions. They will look at your files, all right? Then... They will decide if they are doing anything positive or negative. Either the Finnish Immigration Service or the police who serves you the, division, the, the decision on the application, either the police give you the information or the immigration gives you the information. The information might be positive or negative. And remember, I may forget, if in case your condition or your result is negative, all right, or if you think that they didn't do it best, you can always apply for appeal. You can always take an appeal, all right? It is very possible. I think that should be after 14 days. I can't remember, but I will check, all right? Then the applicant is granted international protection, which is asylum, or a subsidiary protection status. The applicant may also be granted a residence permit on other grounds. The applicant moves to a municipality, all right? So in case you are given a permanent residence or a residence permit, all right, to go into... The population that is the municipality it means you are very lucky and in this case always put your fingers crossed because you never can tell all right but if you are not given if you don't get this paper you would be forced to leave finland all right yes a lot of people will tell you that uh, probably there are conditions that where you can uh, get a negative feedback you look for a lawyer then the lawyer can help you retrieve back your status all right but in that case the lawyer has to be very serious because there are a lot of immigration lawyers who are never serious okay so you just have to pay attention to details all right for those of you who want to move to finland then you seek asylum through the study means well it is possible you are the one to decide on what you are going to do okay so make sure you follow these rules very well and like i said if the asylum seeker must leave finland only the asylum seeker must leave finland after the decision is negative all right the applicant may apply for assist assisted voluntary return he or she may also appeal the decision like i said earlier on if you think that um 
what you have been self is not very good or is not appealing is not human you can apply for an appeal all right there are always forms for you to fill and submit at the immigration headquarters or the, at the police headquarters all right remember as an asylum seeker you do not have direct access to certain things all right you are living under restrictions somehow though you may have the chances to go out of the camp and walk but your chances of moving around integrating with the society is very limited that is why i will never encourage somebody to go for asylum except that the person doesn't have papers that can uh, take the person to another level all right or the individual or the asylum seeker but in finland the procedure is organized in europe the procedure and some of the things that can lead to your rejection all right in case you deposit your file or you are waiting for your decision to be made at the headquarters or by the immigration and if your file is rejected there are possible reasons but the most common reasons of some of these rejections that you will mostly get or if you have been rejected it means that something associated to war crimes all right crimes against humanity are some of the problems that um, let me say somebody can be refused asylum or can be granted asylum if you are granted asylum it means you have not committed crimes against humanity or war or the world all right you don't have serious non-political crimes before entering finland in case you have been involved in political crimes in your home country and if you they, they found out this information you will not get asylum in finland all right these are some of the common cases of rejections and again, an act which violates the aim and principle of the United Nations. Anything that goes against United Nations uh, goals, all right, you will not get asylum in Finland. Remember, the United Sustainable Goals are very much implemented in every country and every aspect. So, if you go against any of them, you will not get asylum in Finland. Just understand it that way because a lot of people don't understand some of these things, all right. Now, I already talked about asylum as... Um, an adult and i also want to tell you that uh, things related to asylum and the right to work all right the rights of asylum seekers to work in finland yeah asylum seekers you may be permitted to employment only if they have the valid right to work all right when you find a job you must check whether your right to work has begun or whether it is still in force first you need to verify if you can work all right and you need to also tell the employer immediately if your right to work is terminated all right because if you work illegally and you have they find you or you are caught is a problem it's a problem very big problem and again for you to know if you have the right to work or not you should always contact the the, the head office or the, the cross-border patrol they will always have all of these details all right because without them giving you rights to work but all asylum seekers i know it is possible in some countries but not possible in other countries so always verify all right now that is for adults asylum for unaccompanied children first the asylum involved inform the the, the the border patrol or the control authorities or the police that he or she wants to seek asylum is basically the same problem uh, uh the same uh, requirements the same procedure the same steps but different uh, things in place then the border authorities now or the police registers the applicant as an asylum seekers records the applicant details and take photography of the applicants all right and if the applicant is over the age of six his or her fingerprint are taken the applicant's age permitted also his or her signature to be attached to the application if you are over six years all right as an an um what am i saying as and on a company child it looks like my english is not anyways don't listen to the english that much just take what i'm explaining if you are above six years you can apply all right and they will take all the details when they take your details of course they will send you to the asylum camp all right then a day will be designated to assign the child's representative or well, the court will assign the child's representative the court of course because you are going to sit and answer some questions as a child you cannot answer certain questions but the court will give you a representative all right that only happens when you are a child and now the finnish immigration um, service will decide whether they are going to continue your case or not all right same procedure everything then if the finnish immigration service invites the applicant for representative to an asylum interview in case just in case all right 
if the child uh, attempts to trace or if they invite the child's uh, representative, they will also try to see if they can find the parents. Because sometimes they will not just listen from somebody else, all right? They will always try to locate the, the, the family of the child first. Then, in that case, they will still decide if the decision is negative or positive. But now, a positive applicant is granted international protection. All right. The applicant may also be granted a residence permit. Then what if the decision is negative? The asylum seeker must leave Finland. A minor asylum seeker is returned. The police make sure that the applicant has an appropriate and safe reception in his or her home country. So Finland is like, it's not like other countries where you are repatriated or you are deported. You don't have care. You don't have people to look at you. No. In case they are sending you back, but I would think that they might not send the child back. All right. Sometimes we find all of this information on websites, but I don't, really don't think that as a child, if they find your information, well, anyways, they might send you back if your details are not uh, genuine. All right. But in case that your, your things are OK, it shows that you were running away from danger. They will take you. All right. So it's not an issue of panic. Just make sure you are on the right track because sometimes some people lie a lot. They lie a lot on things that are not supposed to be lied on, all right, and it gets people disturbed. So that is how the asylum process is. Adults, they have their own way. They do their things up to the interview level. Uh, children that are accompanied have their own way and how their things are done, all right. So if you intend to move to Finland, know that you cannot apply for asylum outside. Rather, you move into Finland, then you start looking for means to apply for asylum or even your resident. All right, your residence permit or permanent residence or what? All right, so these are uh, some of the informations you need to know. I hope this helps you. If it does, remember there are also documents you may give your fingerprint in addition to that, but your passport is very important. First document you need is your passport. All right, thank you so much for understanding, guys. Until we meet again in another one.